More than 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by water, and the majority of this comes from our oceans and seas. The Pacific Ocean actually takes up more than a third of the planet's surface. So, the fact that there are more than a million different species of creatures in the ocean doesn't seem so strange. However, the depths of the ocean are some of the most unexplored places on planet Earth, and scientists estimate there are 9 million more species that are yet to be discovered. The mystery of what lurks beneath the deep has proved the ground for many horror stories throughout generations. There's a whole lot to be afraid of in the depths of the sea where the sunlight barely reaches, and that's because some of the most deadly creatures live there. Whales are the largest living creatures in the sea, but these gentle giants were preceded by some of the scariest sea monsters of all time. From the poisonous fish to the just outright creepy sharks, here's a look at 10 of the most deadly creatures you may encounter in the ocean. The sarcastic fringe head is a deep sea creature that lives off the west coast of North America. They're typically seen as a dull brown boggled eyed sock puppet of a fish. It has also been called spectacularly ugly in the scientific literature. They are ambush predators, so they like to stake out a hidey hole that offers them both protection and a great vantage point from where to pounce on prey. It appears relatively harmless when it isn't provoked and possesses no threat to humans whatsoever. However, when when this footlong fish is agitated, it will open its massive mouth in an attempt to fend off predators. It's that defense tactic that is both surprising and frightening. They use the colorfulness of their mouths to communicate with each other. The sarcastic fringe head is not targeted by fisheries and is not accidentally captured in fisheries targeting other species. Scientists believe this species to be one of the least concerning since it's not currently at risk of extinction. There are 20 different species of giant isopod. The creepy creatures are bottom-dwelling carnivorous crustaceans and can grow up to two and a half feet in length. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, they all have two pairs of antennae, compound eyes, and four sets of jaws. Their seven segmented bodies have seven sets of legs for walking, and their six segmented abdomens have more legs for swimming and breathing. They're otherwise harmless, found at the bottom of the ocean, and feast on other deep-sea animals that are already dead. They are the ultimate survivors. Maybe what's most unsettling about the giant isopod is that it can survive without eating for up to five years. They are permanently constrained to creeping along the bottom of the ocean, primarily the cold, dark waters of the North Atlantic and the Arctic Circle. The giant squid was only recently discovered and captured by scientists in 2006. Giant squids are exactly as large as their name implies, with eyeballs 10 inches in diameter and weighing up to 440 pounds. It's the sheer enormity of this creature that makes it so creepy. Given the sheer size of this weird creature, you'd think that we'd come across them all the time. But in reality, the giant squid is a highly mysterious animal. Dwelling deep beneath the waves, it's only real predator is the sperm whale. The two are famous for their deep sea battles, and their carcasses are often found bearing the marks of mortal combat on their bodies. Despite their size, the animals are effective and agile hunters and can catch prey from 10 meters away by shooting out their two feeding tentacles which are lined with hundreds of suckers. The most terrifying thing about them is that they eat small whales, and small whales aren't very small. Although it may not be as physically imposing as some of the other deep sea creatures on the list, the blue ringed octopus is easily one of the most dangerous animals in the ocean. Found in the waters of Australia and Japan, the blue ringed octopus is as dangerous as it is spectacular. When provoked, this tiny octopus will start flashing a bright neon blue. They weigh only around 30 grams, but contain enough poison to kill over 20 humans. They have no needle like teeth or electric shock giving ability, but their one bite can easily kill a human. They're highly venomous and, when threatened, release tetrodotoxin, which is a poison that attacks the nervous system and causes death in a mere four to six hours. The lethal dose is just eight microliters per kilo, which means that for an average sized human, half a milliliter causes a horrendous death. Their paralyzing venom is actually 12,000 times more powerful than cyanide. 
As with the black dragonfish, only the female anglerfish are striking in their appearance. Named after its hunting technique, the anglerfish uses a fleshy growth protruding from the top of its head as a lure to attract its prey. The headlamp appendage is a specialized tissue that in deep sea anglerfishes contain bioluminescent bacteria that the fish uses as a lure to attract potential prey towards its mouth. The anglerfish lives 2,000 meters below the surface, mainly in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Europe and Northwest Africa. The most bizarre thing about anglerfish is its mating ritual in which the male anglerfish fuses to the female anglerfish, dies, and dissolves until there is nothing left but extra gonads for the remaining fish to impregnate itself with. Goblin sharks get their name from looking pretty ghastly. The deep sea animal uses its ugly appearance to its advantage, sensing prey with its snout and stabbing its catch with its thin, sharp teeth. Not much is known about this deep sea dweller as only a few specimens have ever been caught by fishing boats, but those rare catches have been enough to earn it a fearsome reputation. The goblin shark is an extremely rare deep sea creature and is often called a living fossil due to their dinosaur-like appearance and the fact that the species can be tracked back 125 million years, making them one of the oldest sea creatures. The ancient animals are widely distributed across the globe and have been found inhabiting the specific Indian and Atlantic oceans. They live up to 1300 meters below sea level and could grow to around three and a half meters long. These bizarre beasts are known for their long snouts and ferocious nightmare teeth. Their skin is translucent, so that pink you see is a direct look at the their insides. Scientists have studied the stomach contents of these sharks and determined that they must swim in both deep and shallow water. The fang tooth fish is another deep sea dweller with a name to match its appearance. It uses its long, needle-like teeth that are disproportionately large compared to its overall frame to catch prey to great effect. Also known as the ogre fish, it is one of the deepest living fish ever discovered. It has been seen as far down as 5,000 meters below sea level, where the pressure is 500 times greater than on land. As hardly anything else lives so deep in the ocean, fang tooth have very little to eat and so is almost constantly in a state of starvation. Because of the lack of food, it has evolved to have a permanently open jaw so it can eat anything that crosses its path. It's a pretty small fish, averaging only 16 centimeters in length, which is why it's so terrifying since it has the largest teeth in proportion to its body size of any fish. Mega Mouth Shark can grow up to five and a half meters long and reach weights of 2,700 pounds. As the name suggests, the Mega Mouth Shark's mouth is huge and it has a hundred rows of teeth that actually glow to attract prey. Scientists believe Mega Mouth Sharks only come near the surface at night and spend most of their lives in the dark. The Mega Mouth Shark swims along with his mouth wide open, sucking in food as he goes along. Luckily, these teeth are reserved for eating most krill. Only 55 specimens have ever been seen so far, and even large species may go undiscovered in the large deep sea since it was discovered in 1976. This extremely rare species of deep water shark has rarely been seen by human eyes, and as of yet, there is still no consensus in the scientific community as to how to actually classify it. The Great Barracuda is a curious, fearsome-looking, usually solitary predator common to the reefs and shallows of Florida and the Caribbean. It is also known to have attacked humans. However, these attacks are extremely rare and occur when Barracuda tries to steal prey from a spear. But the appearance of these predators is more than likely to make you a little cautious though. Measuring up to six feet, the Great Barracuda uses lightning speed and ambush tactics to catch its prey of fish. The Great Barracuda's fang-like teeth are very similar to those of a piranha, and their bodies are shaped like a torpedo with flesh that can sometimes contain a toxin which can cause serious symptoms from vomiting to leg weakness that can last more than three months. 
Accountable for more human fatalities on the Australian continent than sharks, the box jellyfish is one of the most ferocious creatures to roam the ocean. It might not have rows of razor sharp teeth, but it has caused more human deaths than snakes, sharks, and saltwater crocodiles combined. These creatures are transparent and pale blue, which makes them almost invisible. Another trait that sets them apart from other jellyfish is their ability to see as they have clusters of eyes on each side of their box shaped body. These abilities support the belief that instead of waiting for food to bump into their tentacles, box jellyfish might hunt for prey. Often found floating in Indo-Pacific waters, these transparent, nearly invisible invertebrates are considered as the most venomous marine animal in the world. A sting from a box jellyfish will be extremely uncomfortable and can, in some cases, even be fatal to humans. Their namesake cubic frames contain up to 15 tentacles at the corner with each growing as much as 10 feet long, all lined with thousands of stinging cells that contain toxins that simultaneously attack the heart, nervous system, and skin cells. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.